what's up everyone welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix you're having trouble with the xbox app is having slow download and how we can fix this up so let me directly get into this step so the first and foremost step is all about we just need to go over here search for the settings over here click on the settings and right now we need to navigate to windows update over here at the bottom and right now what we need to do is keep scrolling down and over here as you can see we'll be having options over, over here for advanced option just click on the advanced option and if you scroll down under the additional options you can see there is an option called delivery optimization select this one and right now what we need to do is as you can see right now we have options like you know we have download options and right now this has been set into percentage of uh, measured bandwidth so you have to change this to absolute bandwidth and this is what you have to do as the first and foremost step that's what you have to try and it's an important one and also once after you set into this that's an important one once you set this particular one to this and also you can set the uh, versions over here and also you can make sure the upload options over here as well and also one thing that's also very important if you find anything like limit as of measured bandwidth if it is turn it on make sure this is also turn it off that's also an important one and also you have to change this one from default this would be percentage of measured bandwidth you have to change this to absolute bandwidth right now once afterwards just go back over here in the apps now we need to navigate to the installer apps and now we need to search over here for the xbox and right now if you find the xbox click on three dot menu over here and you have to go to advanced option and right now we need to scroll down and navigate to repair options over here under the reset we have options like repair and reset we need to click both these two things and once you click both these two things and what you need to do is you have to make sure that you know this will be like you know giving a fresh restart for the app so you might be have to sign in back once again so sign in back and once afterwards the issue might be fixed in most cases still if it's not working you can uninstall the xbox app and you can re-download it back and that's what you have to try so these are the steps and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification that's it bye bye